guys, come check out my gourds. We got big ones, we got little ones, and we got green ones. I think we got maybe about 30, 30 gourds hanging out in here, so I'm really excited these did so well. We even have this one, I don't know if you can see it through all the bed, but this one's like upside down. Can you get a footage of it, Josh? Yeah, kind of. It is upside down. Isn't that funny? It's funny. So these are the birdhouse gourds. Let me in. Let me in. Open up. Maybe you could do me from that direction. What is this? I don't know. The chicken probably got in here. Looks like Couldn't it. get out. Okay, so I got I got birdhouse gourds. This one's beautiful. Man, this one doesn't even have any little nicks on it or anything. Oh. And then I got uh, loofah gourds. Hey, that one's yellow over there. Yeah, I don't know why this one turned yellow. I'm sure, I guess it's bad. Went bad, maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe it's done? I don't think it... Who knows? Maybe these have turned yellow, too. So. Are they hard or squishy? They're still squishy. Is that bad? I don't know anything about it. I don't know either, but... Yeah, we got some. Look at how long this one is. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. So, it's been really dry around here. So, for a while, this, this whole bed was looking pretty rough. But it rained for a couple days, and now everything looks a lot better. So, but I just wanted to show you my pretty uh, birdhouse gourds and loofah gourds. We got some growing on the... Oh, and then the, the trellis actually did end up, we had only two T-posts, these two T-posts over here, and we had to end up adding a few more because it got so heavy. This, this, these are like, what, like six, seven we're gonna points? We're going to put some more in here, too. Yeah, we're going to have to put in more. So, yeah, definitely, if you're going to do these kind of gourds, you'll need a lot of support on your trellis because they can get heavy fast. So, but yeah. Anyways, thanks for checking out my gourds.